What's up? I'm Jeff Jones from Zomax School of Music. In this lesson, we're going to work on one awesome double bass groove. I call it the Rockstar Helicopter Groove. Rockstar because every true rock star has played this groove sometime in their career, whether it was in a song or in their solo in their big arena tour. And it's a helicopter groove because it's kind of what it sounds like whenever you're thundering on the double bass with the 16th nose. Sounds like a big helicopter coming in. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. It's powerful. It's very cool groove. So, there's transcriptions available if you have a copy of my book, Groovology, The Study of Double Bass Drum Grooves. And if you're a German speaker, there's also a German translation of the same book available. Anyway, if you have the book, Open up to lesson one and let's get started. All right, so let's start out with the groove. The basic groove is actually pretty simple. It just looks and sounds difficult. But if we slow it way down and take one step at a time, it's not that bad. Our right hand is going to be playing eighth notes, and we're, I'm going to play them on the hi hat. But you can play them on the ride or the crash, or the cowbell, floor tom, whatever you want to play on but you're just going to play straight eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. On the snare drum, you're going to hit counts two and four. So it's going to be like right, right, and then together on two, right, 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 together on four, right. Okay? Now with the bass drums, we're just playing steady sixteenth notes. So it's one E and uh, two E and uh, all the way through the measure. You're going to alternate just right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now, when you play this, your right foot should line up with the hi-hat, and your left foot does not line up with it. So it's just an alternating thing. So every time you play a hi-hat on the number or the and, you should have a right foot on the bass drum with it. So let's give this a try. Okay, now that you know how to play the Rockstar Helicopter Groove, it's time to put a fill with it. So let's try this. Let's try putting quarter notes on the snare and the crash while keeping your sixteenth notes nice and steady on the bass drum. So your bass drum is still going to play one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, and your hands are just going to play together, unison, at the same time on one, two, three, four. If you're following along in the book, this is fill number two in lesson one. Now that you've got the groove and the fill working together, feel free to get creative with it. I've been using everything on the hi-hat. Feel free to use the floor tom, or a crash cymbal, or the ride cymbal, or china cymbal, or cowbell, or whatever you have on your set that makes noise that you like. Now also, feel free to get that left hand involved, okay? So, Keep the right hand steady for right now on whatever instrument that you're playing it on. Keep your double bass steady with the 16th notes. But feel free to add 16th notes all over with your left hand. You can keep them on the snare, you can move them to the high tom, you can move them to the floor tom. Just experiment and work on different permutations and different, different combinations of exercises that you've learned in the past. Make it your own. Make it fun.
Alright, that's going to wrap up this lesson. Hopefully you found all this information both fun and useful. Take your time and practice with the metronome, and I'll see you next time. God bless.